Hello everybody, today I want to take a moment to talk about uh, my favorite character in Genshin Impact, even though he's technically not in Genshin Impact yet, and that is Zhao. Zhao has by far been one of my favorite characters since the very beginning, uh, ever since he was teased on the closed beta test, and then uh, when he was added to Genshin Impact's actual website, I've always loved the character. Actually, uh, let me open up the website as well, just to look at him there. Yeah, no, so since the beginning I've always been a... It, oh, he's right there. I've always been a very big va fan of his design, and then when his gameplay was finally released, I uh, became an even bigger fan. And everything uh, in Genshin Impact so far, I've always had the mind of, like, Zhao is going to be my main character one day. He's always been, like, my goal character, like, the character that I care about more than any other character. And even with all the characters that we have released, uh, with the release of Child, Zhongli, uh, Albedo, and Ganyu being previewed, I, the, the no character has uh, piqued my interest nearly as much as Zhao has. Um, even my girlfriend tells me all the time that I talk way too much about Zhao. And it's true, I talk a lot about Zhao. And so I figured, let me make a video talking about Zhao. Um, this video is actually just going to be going over a lot of the information that we have and seeing how certain information has actually changed um, since the past. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, this is a very good place to start, is his ascension cost, his ascension materials. Although, he still is going to require, obviously, the Anemo items, because he's still an Anemo character. He's still going to require the Jingzing flowers. He no longer will require the uh, firm arrowhead or arrowheads in general, um, based on the information we have on Honey. Uh, Honey is a database website for Genshin Impact that I trust far more than any other thing, because this is a uh, actual uh, data mine database. So it is data mined based on the latest uh, patches of Genshin Impact, including the betas. So any information that's updated here, I normally trust as to be definitive until uh, until Mahoyo says differently. Um, yeah, so on here, it actually says it no longer requires those arrowheads. It actually now requires gels, um, slimes. Uh, this is actually really good for me because I actually have a lot more slimes than I had arrowheads. Um, yeah, so that's one of the changes we can see already. Additionally, we can see a big change that's been made on Honey is if we look at uh, Zhao's normal attacks, he has a normal attack, which is a rapid six strikes, and a charge attack, which is his plunging attack. Where now, on Honey, he actually has a charge attack where he performs the upward thrust with his spear. And then his plunging attack uh, is now what his charge attack used to be. That's a really big difference because in the past, uh, his... He was the only character in the, with the plunging attack in closed beta test. He was the only one, and then they added that to everybody. So that took away something that was special for him. But I think it's still going to be really special because he's still going to. I think he's going to be doing more damage than other characters. And he actually, in the rest of his kit, still looks like it's leaning towards that plunging attack being very important. But yeah, that's one big thing to note is that his uh, charge attack is now a plunging attack, and he now has a brand new charge attack. Uh, another thing we can see while we're here is that his numbers have changed as well. So the numbers on uh, Genshin.gg are normally talent level 1 numbers. If we compare this to Honey, and we can all immediately see that his uh, all of his numbers have actually gone up significantly. From uh, On here it's 24 to 24, which is 27 to 27. And then we see the same type of increase across all of uh, the different attacks. So his second hit went up, his third hit went up, his fourth hit went up, fifth and sixth. Every all, all of his damage numbers did get increased by a decent margin. So that's uh, something that we're able to note now. Next, if we go on to his skill damage, um, it looks like his skill damage is still roughly the same, or exactly the same. This just isn't rounded up like uh, Genshin.gg. And the cool... Oh, excuse me, sorry. And the cooldown looks the same as well as uh, the ability itself. Then if we go here, actually there's a big change that uh, happened here as well. So we can see that his increased damage is actually lowered. 
which isn't that big of a deal because the way that his increased damage is lowered is actually going to be uh, made up with the base numbers being uh, increased. So it's going to be a similar damage range anyway. It won't be uh, the biggest thing, but that's not the change that I want to highlight. The change I want to highlight is this. The HP loss um, on here is uh, draining Zhao's max HP. I, it doesn't actually mention it, but in the past it did. That this is against his max, max HP. It's 3% of his max HP. When now, it's actually 3% of his current HP. So the life drain is actually going to get a lower and more manageable the uh, more damage that you've actually taken. Um, plus, if you look, we're going to look at his constellations later and compare those to those constellations. But there is a constellation in there that will make uh, his damage uh, taken even lower after a certain point. Alright, but going back into it, we do also notice the cooldown stayed the um it actually increased. The duration stayed the same. The cooldown has increased by five seconds, meaning that there's uh you won't be able to infinitely chain these back to back to back. You will have a cooling down period where you won't be able to go into this form. And the energy cost has been increased as well. Meaning that uh Zhao may actually need to build some energy recharge into some of his substats. Um, or maybe even have a weapon that uh, gives him energy recharge because this is actually going to make a large difference in how fast you're going to be able to have this up before the cooldown's over. Everything else is actually pretty uh, still uh, stays the same. Um, yeah, everything else stays the same. Just, yeah, the, the, the big change is that the damage has been decreased, but it should be uh, about equal with the increases to the base numbers. And then his life drain uh, is now based on his current HP and not his max HP. That's a very big thing to know. All right, and then uh, moving forward, we actually have his talents. Uh, this is another thing that shows that he has been being updated because his talents now actually require, um, I don't remember, this, Shadow of the Warrior, which is a child drop. Obviously, in the past, he never required that because... It wasn't a real thing, or we didn't know about it till uh, till 1.1. But now that we have 1.1 out, we do see that he will require one child drops. Uh, if you've been uh, getting these, make sure you're saving. The, you could be saving these for him. The only other character that's going to use these is Gan Yu so far, so it's not like you really have anywhere to spend these. But uh, yeah, it's a great thing to have those saved up if you plan on building out a Zhao. A really important thing to have. All right, going. Oh, and uh, I believe he's also always required the teachings and guide the prosperity. So he still requires the prosperity and the change from arrowheads to slimes is seen here as well. So he's now going to require even more slimes to get his talents up as well. All right, we can look at his passive talents. Passive talents uh, don't seem to have, cha have changed much from what they already were. The first one is... Let's actually read the old one. Decrease all party members falling damage by 30%. The new one, decrease climbing stamina consumption for your own party members by 20%, and decrease fall damage by 50%. So never mind, this actually was changed significantly. Now you have a better party-wide buff of decreasing your climbing stamina, as well as even stronger damage reduction from fall damage. Uh, I'm guessing that this is because Zhao does want to make really large plummeting attacks, and... As it says, he's a gravity defier. He's supposed to be able to fly up into the sky and slam back into the ground. And that's just kind of showing um, those abilities. Next, uh, his old skill was Evil Conqueror, Tamer of Demons. Starting uh, Bane of All Evil, which is his elemental burst, increases Zhao's damage by 5%. After this, Zhao's damage continues to increase by additional 5% every 3 seconds until a maximum of 25%. Let's go see the newest one or latest one that we have an idea of. It looks exactly the same. Well, under the effects of Bane of All Evil, Zhao's uh, damage dealt by Zhao is increased by 5%. Uh, and then further increased till 25% maximum. So this doesn't look to change at all. Let's go check the last one. The last one is using uh, your elemental skill. Luminastic Wind Cycling increases the damage of subse subsequent uses of the skill by 15%. This effect lasts for 6 seconds and has a maximum of 3 stacks. That's really big because if it has a maximum of 3 stacks, that's up to 45% extra damage you're going to be getting on 
uh, his E ability, and gaining a new stack refreshes the effect's duration. This actually may make you think of using something like a... Actually, I was going to say a Sacrificial Spear, but I'm not sure if the game even has something like that. Let me check that real quick. If they don't have a Sacrificial Polearm, which now thinking about it, I don't think there is. No, there's no Sacrificial Polearm. I was going to say that that would be a really good weapon for him, but since it doesn't really exist, that kind of sucks. Hopefully, like other Polearms, they have added Polearms that were missing from certain sets in the game later, like the Royal Polearm wasn't there on 1.0, but was added later in 1.1. So hopefully we do get to see a sacrificial pole arm being added to the game because it would be really good for him. Um, especially because he's not going to have... Well, actually, let's look at the cooldown. Yeah, the cooldown is 10 seconds on this no matter what level. So unless you have a way to refresh that cooldown, you're not going to be able to get max stacks on this. You're not going to be able to maintain max stacks. Unless you go C6. Because let's look at his constellation. I think his constellation is absolutely insane. I love it. I'm I'm a giant Zhao simp, so I'm gonna get him C6 on my account no matter what. Um, but I do think he is one of those characters that his constellations really just make him better and better. Uh, similar to um, Child, I think Child also benefited greatly from his constellations. He was a really good character without them, but the more you had them, the better he was. All right, so let's look at it. The first one increases his uh, elemental skill charges by one. That means you have three charges at that point. Easily able to stack up uh, your entire uh, Lunastic Cycling with that. And especially if you space out uh, the uh, cooldowns well enough, you should be able to keep it up uh, rather frequently as long as you have Constellation 1. Um, I don't like the fact that you know certain things are only really accessible Constellations, but maybe uh, if you can space out your 2 well enough, you might be able to keep it. Uh, you actually should be able to get all three stacks eventually. But if you do one, wait five seconds to do the other. Before the cool, uh, before the six second window is over, your first one should be off cooldown. You should be able to spam it really quickly to refresh that again. But you, that's the max at three stacks. You won't be able to get above that without constellation one. Constellation two, it's probably his weakest, but it's actually still really good. When he's in the party and not on the field, Zhao's energy recharge is increased by twenty five percent. That is really good, especially if you have someone like a Venti on your team and you get a bunch of Anemo energy anyway. This would just make sure he's almost topped off every time you switch back to him. Um, his 4 and 5 are the same 4 and 5 as every other character. It's just going to be that increase to the maximum upgrade level, which as we've seen, that actually could be really big, uh, especially for this one. Uh, it's At one point, it'll get you earlier decrease to the amount of damage you're taking. As well, the earlier uh, increase to its duration. And then here, you're just going to see the damage number, so it's not as big. And that's why I feel this game likes to do a lot. Whatever constellation is not as important, or whatever skill is not as important of having upgraded, it'll give you that one first. And the one you really want is what they hold for the constellation 5. Um, the next one is when Zhao's HP falls below 50%, he gains a 100% defense bonus. This is why I was talking about. Uh, as you're bleeding out, all, since it's current HP, it's going to be taking less and less from you. And eventually, once you hit that 50% threshold, you'll have more and more defense to keep you alive as well. Alright, finally. Um, actually, not finally. Technically, uh, this is just the uh, upgrade to his burst. We already talked about that, though. But finally, we have Conqueror of Evil, Guardian Yaksha. This is an absolute amazing constellation. This is e the same level as Child C6. This is a C6 that really takes him to a next level. While well, under the effects of Bane All Evil, hitting at least two enemies with Zhao's plunging attack will immediately grant him one charge of Luminestic Wind Cycling, that's his skill. And for the next one second, he may use uh, the skill as often as he wants, which is going to be an insane increase to his damage output. Uh, this is one of the biggest things that makes me look at it and be like, yes, I want this character. I want to see fix him. I want to take him all the way because he's going to see a very large increase in power with that. Again, this is at the same level of Child um, getting his C6. It uh, actually really changes his entire playstyle a little bit. Alright, well that has been everything I wanted to cover. I just want to cover all the major differences in uh, Zhao from closed beta test 2 uh, to Zhao in the latest... Uh, beta testing environment based on the data mine information that we have. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed the content. I have a lot more Zhao content planned, uh, especially a very large thumbnail video at when he comes out. Um, so I hope everyone stays tuned. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I've, I have uh, plenty more other Genshin Impact content on the way as well. And have a good day.